Hello and welcome to the Center of Excellence training series on TAC. In this tutorial, we will cover how to utilize data packages in ITAC. Let's get started. Simply put, data packages are a way to bundle items you might want to share with other TAC users. One caveat I must mention is that as of early 2024, there is not complete parity yet between ITAC and ATAC in this function. First, open ITAC and navigate to the main map screen. I have a few data points already populated on my map. Some of these markers have images associated with them. If you don't know how to make these points, check out our ITAC interface and tools tutorial. We covered how to share points individually, but it is often more effective to send them as a group which ITAC calls packages or mission packages. To begin, navigate to the main map screen of ITAC and toggle on the bottom toolbar by tapping once on the screen. Scroll over to packages. To create a new data package, click the plus sign at the bottom of the page and select create new. Firstly, name the package. I will name this package office point of interest. Now select Add Element. A list of options will appear. Most users will only use markers, shapes, and overlays, but feel free to play around with the other options. Begin by selecting Marker. You will likely see a very large list populated, including every geospatial marker that is currently active. However, ITAC will auto-sort this list by putting points from the Point Dropper tool at the top of the list. Select your desired markers by tapping anywhere on the column. Deselect this item by tapping again. When you are finished, select Add Elements. You may repeat this process with any other geospatial elements you may want to add. You may remove geospatial elements from your list by tapping on View All, then Edit. Underneath Geospatial Elements, there is an area to add attachments such as images or files that are relevant to your package. There is also a remarks section at the bottom of this page where you can add comments or information relating to your package. When your package is ready to be shared, tap Save at the top of the screen. You'll now see your new package populated in the packages list. Select this package again. You can further customize your package or you may share it. To share the package, select the Share button at the bottom left of your screen. You'll be prompted with a few options. Sending a data package to a contact means that ITAC will make one attempt to transmit your package to the other user. If you or that user have a poor internet connection or become disconnected from the TAC server, the package will fail to reach the other user. If you use this method, it is best practice to confirm with your other user that they received the package successfully. Also, note that you may only share data packages with contacts when there are no attachments associated with the package. Because I have attachments, my current package will display failed upload to server. The send to server option uploads your package to the TAC server and can often be the most reliable manner to disperse your data. If you choose send to server, then the responsibility to retrieve the package is on the recipient. This tends to be the most reliable manner as the recipient can choose when they are in a good place to have connectivity, either Wi-Fi or cellular data service. When you upload a data package to the server, it will be tagged with every channel that you have turned on at the moment you upload the package, meaning that later on, every user with access to that channel will be able to download it. As a result, the best practice when you wish to upload a data package to the server is to first turn off every TAC channel except the one you wish to share the package with, then upload the package. After you have finished your upload, you may turn other TAC channels back on. Similarly, users attempting to download a data package must have the TAC channel associated with the package turned on when they search the server. Only support staff can correct erroneously uploaded data packages. 
data packages may be subject to data retention policies, meaning they may be removed from the tax server after a set period of time. Consult your TAC program's website for definitive guidance on this topic. This concludes our tutorial for the ITAC Data Packages tool, powered by the Colorado Department of Public Safety and the Center of Excellence for Advanced Technology Aerial Firefighting. Thanks for watching.